Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today I have a very special video. This is my three year veganiversary, so I wanted to make a video for anybody that has come to my channel because last year when I had my two year veganiversary, I had a lot less people that were watching me. So now I wanted to make a, another one, of course, because it is another year vegan. Um, and to kind of say what I've said in the past just in case somebody doesn't want to go all the way back and watch my really really old videos I just have a few questions that I am going to answer and then uh, Some of them might have changed since I was one year vegan and two year vegan So you might even hear some new information if you have been around for a while on my channel So what made me go vegan? So I went vegan after I discovered veganism pretty much um, the first time. Yeah, I had a cousin that was vegan, but that never really influenced me to go vegan. I didn't really care. I was like, oh, it's like a vegetarian. Like, you do your thing, I'll do mine. And I had like just gotten my hunting license. I was not interested in saving animals or anything like that. But I was struggling body-wise. I was having some minor health issues and I should clarify that because last time I was like, I was having health issues and people might think I had big concerns, but no, it was just little tiny things that were affecting me pretty much every day and they were annoying and painful. I had really bad hemorrhoids that would bleed every time I would go poo and I would ha be constipated for four days at a time, which is actually considered normal on the standard American diet. Yeah, so those were two things that I dealt with like on the daily basis before going vegan that affected me so much that they made me pretty much want to cut out animal products to see what the effect would be on my body. But also I was struggling with my weight. I had been starving myself for a while. I was doing that because I couldn't lose weight in a healthy, healthy way. You know, every time I wanted to lose weight, I would have people telling me, oh, just cut your calories down to this amount and don't eat this and don't eat that. And I would do that and it wouldn't work. And then I'd be like, oh, I'm supposed to cut my calories down even further. And I would lose even more weight if than a short period of time because that's what all the websites said. I've, I never got diagnosed with an eating disorder because I never told my psychiatrist or when I went to the hospital, I never talked about the eating, disor disordered eating I was having. I only talked about my self-injury and suicidal thoughts. It wasn't anything else. So of course they wouldn't know because when I'm at the hospital, sure, I eat some of the food. <laughs> like, Yeah, that's something you do. When you have disordered eating, you try to hide it from other people. Yeah, I don't wanna go too much into detail about that because there's a bunch of other questions. Basically, I was struggling with health issues, mentally and physically, and I wanted to lose weight. What did I used to eat? I used to eat a lot of cheese. I didn't like eggs. I would eat them if they were in like baked foods. I also ate a lot of wild game meat compared to grocery store meat. Uh, my mom would still buy grocery store meat every once in a while, especially bacon but she wouldn't go overboard on like beef and everything. What have you struggled with? Oh my gosh, I keep sneezing, guys. What have you struggled with since going vegan? So in the beginning, this is when it was difficult. I would say for the first two to four months, because what I did was I went cold turkey as far as I knew, because there are so many animal products that you don't know of. And so I went with all the ones that I did know and I cut those out first. But then of course there is all these products that you don't know about, like um, L-cysteine, L-cysteine in baked goods, the different dyes they use for foods, um, all the products and beauty products. And when something says it's cruelty free, it doesn't mean it's actually cruelty free and it doesn't even mean that it's vegan. So there's a lot of things that you will learn along the way and after you are open to this information because it's not something that you automatically go oh I know what everything is that's non vegan <laughs> so it's like a constant learning experience because right now if I found out that there's something that existed that I didn't know before like now I know but yeah in the beginning I really struggled to cut out wild game meat I was fine with cutting out dairy which really is surprising because I 
was a cheese addict and I haven't had a single cheese craving since. The alternatives I eat satisfy that. Any thing that I want enough like I don't crave it eggs I had no problem really cutting out because I didn't eat them as is anyway I just cut them out of baked goods and found alternatives to use but I really struggled with wild game meat and bacon so up until about four months I was still eating that every once in a while I would like try to go vegan like stay full vegan and then I would be like, oh, why did my mom have to make that? Like, now I want that. And it might have been like, maybe I went two months without eating any animal products, but then I was, my mom made something and I really wanted it, so I would have it, and it was a struggle that way. After four months, I basically shut off that little acceptance thing I had going on where I'd be like, oh, I'll, I'll try that. Okay, I'll take this gift. And I'd just be like, no. Do not give me that. Please do not do that because now I have to give it to somebody else. It, it's, you know, it's just, it's really hard to make a lifestyle change and that is what veganism is. So people are going to struggle, especially if they're going cold turkey. I mean, I said I was going cold turkey and I tried to. It was just a matter of sometimes I would want this. Sometimes I would want that. But then it, as soon as I would have it, I would go back on track and be like, oh no, I'm vegan. I can't do that anymore. So it was kind of cold turkey, but I had my slip ups and I had my mistakes that I would find out, oh, that's an animal product. That's okay. That's, that's okay. Um, what changes have you noticed in your body since going vegan? I haven't lost weight. Mm, kind of. I haven't really lost a lot of weight since going vegan. Like, that's what I wanted when I went vegan. But this is coming from a person that was having problems with food. Like, I disordered eating. I was starving myself to lose weight. So, of course, when you eat any diet where you are all of a sudden nourishing your body with all of this nutrition, your body is going to gain weight. It's not going to lose weight because your body's like, oh my gosh, thank you. Finally, you give me food. That's what happened. I gained weight. I uh, gained the exact amount of weight I had starved off since grade seven, six-ish. That's when I like was at my lowest, I think, or maybe grade eight. And then it stopped. And I was like, at first I was really scared. Like, well, it was going up. I was like, oh, like, I keep gaining weight. Like, when's it going to stop? And then I kept saying, okay, if I get to this number, then I'm going to go and starve myself again. Wait. Is temporary it's not something that is gonna be with you forever you can get rid of it so let your body do what it needs to do as long as you were eating whole plant foods you were eating enough calories you're getting your nutrition through that don't worry about the weight gain and you know what helped me was that even though I was gaining weight my mental mind had improved so much since beginning to eat vegan I struggle with so many mental health issues and it all went away. I still had urges and everything, but I wasn't acting on them. Overall, much more happy. And that is really what I needed to get me through the weight gain. I was like, who cares about the weight gain? I'm happy now. Like, I don't care about my weight gain. Because finally I was out of where I used to be and I was so thankful for that. And I did not want to go back by starving myself again just to lose the weight. What have I enjoyed most? Probably educating others, to be honest, and cooking up some good vegan grub. Favorite vegan food, recipe, or meal? My favorite vegan food has always been raspberries. My favorite meal is eating all the vegan sushi until my heart is content. I normally do avocado sushi, maybe with cucumber sometimes, and mango. Um, my favorite recipe, there's a lot of mac and cheese recipes out there, and they got me through a lot of veganism <laughs> in the past, because I was, although I wasn't craving like a block of cheese like I used to eat, I was craving craft dinner because I loved my pasta, and I loved a creamy sauce on top, so... I started making vegan mac and cheese recipes with cashews and stuff like that and they got me through <laughs> they got me through the beginning where I really wanted my mac and cheese any advice to people wanting to go vegan I'm gonna make another video where I give you guys some tips because surprisingly I haven't done that yet but yeah I'm gonna make that video and I will link it up in the cards when it is done I think I'm gonna film it right after this video just to get it done best places to get information about veganism I actually 
have written a Wattpad book where you can go and it's a guide that will try to introduce you to all these different animal products so you know what to avoid, um, talk about health concerns that people have going vegan, that kind of stuff. Basically educates you about everything veganism and I'm constantly adding to it because you learn new things all the time. I also have another book that I wrote on there called VegBait, which as you've seen on YouTube, I have an episode series for where I talk about common excuses against veganism. This is also good for educating because when you are going vegan, you might have some of those excuses and you're gonna be like, what about the Inuits up north? Like, you're gonna wanna know what you're supposed to say back to people that tell that excuse to you or what the reasoning is behind that. You can watch the videos if you want instead of reading the book now. <laughs> so I will see you guys in another video, bye.